so uh, welcome to the video class so in this lecture we're going to discuss about the advent degradation process so advent degradation process deals with determining the sequence of the amino acid or the determining the sequence of the uh, proteins that forms the whole protein structure so in this advent degradation it is given by the scientist known as Peher Edmund and the one main thing that this reaction uh, shows us that from n terminal end we can determine the sequence of the protein from the n terminal end and this is the most important part of this uh, degradation or this reaction so like uh, if this is if this is the if this is the polypeptide sequence this is the n terminal and this is the c terminal the main reagent that takes place that helps in the in the advent degradation is known as phenyl isothiocyanate so this phenyl thioisocyanate combine at the combine with the n terminal amino acid of the poly polypeptide chain and in the second step this phenyl th isothiocyanate will combine with the last with the first n terminal amino acid and rest amino acid will remain same as it is so this is also known as the sequential process means in this process the removal of the uh, the removal of the amino group or the determination of the amino group from the polypeptide chains occurs one by one so this is the first round of reaction so in this case we will determine the first amino acid so then again this again this phenyl isothiocyanate combines with the second amino acid and cuts it from the rest of the chain and the chain remains R3, R4 and so on to C terminal. So this is the case, this is the sequential process. In this way the uh, advent degradation process helps in determining the N terminal amino acid in a sequential process one by one. So now I'll discuss about the mechanism of the advent degradation. So let us discuss about the mechanism of advent degradation. So what happens in the reaction process? So this phenyl thioisocyanate is the chemical. This phenyl thioisocyanate is the chemical reagent that involves in this reaction. So this phenyl thioisocyanate reacts with the amino acid. React with the polypeptide sequence this is the polypeptide sequence in which this is the first amino acid this is the first amino acid this is the second and so on up to this is the n terminal and this is the c, c terminal so this phenyl thioisocyanate reacts with this um, uh, this polypeptide sequence at the n terminal so this reaction takes place in alkaline media in alkaline ph uh, likewise uh, 9 to 10 uh, ph 9 to 10 so the, during this reaction the intermediate uh, form is ptc ptc which is also known as phenyl thio carbamyl tripeptide derivative so this phenyl thio isocyanate reacts with this polypeptide sequence and forms a PTC phenyl thiocarbamyl tripeptide derivative and this structure this PTC in presence of acidic in presence of acidic solution in case in presence of anhydrous trifluoroacetic acid in this acidic medium it forms the thiozolinone derivative what is the thiozolinone derivative thiozolinone derivative is a structural com is a structural component that consists of this that consists of the n terminal amino group that consists of the n terminal amino acid from the whole peptide chain 
so this uh, derivative so this this is the second amino acid and so on up to the c terminal so the first amino acid from the n terminal end will combine with this ptc and forms a thiozolinone derivative and this uh, thiozolinone derivative further in uh, presence of aqueous acid will the structure will uh, reform into uh, into another compound which is known as phenyl thiohyda uh, hydantoin so this structure this is the final structure that consists of the n terminal amino acid and from this structure with the help of chromatography we, we can determine the structure of the n terminal amino acid or what is the uh, what is that amino uh, what is that n terminal amino acid whether it is lysine arginine aromatic uh, or uh, whatever whatsoever be the amino acid so this is the mechanism of advent uh, degradation process so i hope it is clear to everyone so thank you so much